Hey, gals and guys, it's Christopher Mosier from MyMediaHelper.com, and I wanted to sound off on something. So I made a video a while back, a couple months back, actually, uh, my message to in employers and potential employers, um, specifically some of the practices or the lack of practices that they um, seem to abstain from, uh, meaning get, getting back to you and and when you're taking the time to apply for these companies and they don't even acknowledge to the fact that um, they're not interested in you. Some do. Um, mostly you get forum emails back saying thank you, but no thanks. You don't have the skills that we're looking for or we're going another direction or we already hired someone. Or once in a great while, you get something personalized back stating um, we went, and that's very much appreciated. But then you've got these knuckle nuts. So I'm going to point out this Bell Tech Logics. I guess they're just another recruiting company of the gazillion recruiting companies out there. Um, and this is this, I bring these people up and this specific gentleman up to the fact that this is what's wrong. This is what's wrong with recruiters. This is what's frustrating for people that are trying to get uh, employment, especially this time now, the economy is not doing that well. I'm looking for employment myself and it gets very frustrating. And not only is it frustrating not being able to find something, it's equally as frustrating having to deal with these people. Um, they don't care about you. They care about getting a position they care to the point that getting you a position so they can make their commission and their money. That's the level they care. So once they contact you and interview you and get you to an interview to a potential client, once they find someone or that client finds someone, you're done. You're done. You're out of their minds. They don't care. Either they fulfilled that position with someone else and they got their commission or some someone else, some other recruiter um, filled the position and then uh, I'm not going to get my, my commission. I don't care about the person I was dealing with. That's exactly the level, the signal that the that I'm getting. That's what I read into this stuff is recruiters care about you initially when they're trying to fill something to get the commission. And once that that job is filled by someone else, then oh, I'm not going to get commission or I already got my commission. So that's it. And they're like used car salesmen, right? They'll they'll be up your butt and kiss, kiss your butt all day long until they make their sale and that car is off the lot and they don't give a crap about you afterwards. And that's exactly what these recruiters are. 99% of them, I deal with a lot of them and they're all the same. Not all of them, a AP Professionals of Rochester, for instance, um, that's one. Randstad, um, in my experience, although I did have a bad experience with them, um, that's with them, they've, it's been overall pretty good experience. Um, Kelly, um, so there's good, there's good recruiters. There's good recruiting uh, companies out there. Bell Tech Logics, never freaking heard of them until now. I guess I put in a Indeed application through them. This gentleman, this Mike, whatever, um, emailed me, said, let's talk. Okay. So I had an interview with him. Cool. We'll set up another interview. Okay. I had an interview with that other guy and then I didn't hear from him. I had to email him. So this is what's funny about it. Okay, I go happy. I go, Michael, happy Friday. Just checking to see if you read any updates. He had no idea what I was talking about. He had updates for what? What he was planning on doing is setting up an interview with him. <laughs> <laughs> He's going, oh, I'm sorry. I missed this. Um, I have to see what the actual thing is. Let's see. I'm sorry I missed this. Can we see, can do the first thing Monday morning? And we, would that work for you? So he's trying to set up another interview with him. Dude, dude, I already interviewed with you. I had a second interview with someone else. So I had to tell him that's the deal. No, no, no. I already talked to you and I talked to this other guy. I was just following up to see uh, what the deal was. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. Now I remember I never received feedback. I never received feedback, so I will check on that ASAP. Never heard from him again. Never heard from him again. A day or two later. So this is what I received. This is what I received. I received a form letter, you know, something they shoot out to everybody. Not from Michael, the guy I was dealing with. I never got an email from him after that. Uh, it says, Dear Christopher, thank you for the interest in desk size support position for Bell Tech Tech. Logics, whatever they're called, we regret to inform you that we have filled the position, which is fine. I get a million of these. Um, but I don't interview. I send in 
um, my my resume, and then I get I get kicked back saying either I don't get anything back or it says we filled the position or we're not interested in you and so on. Get them get them all day long. I talked to you, dude. You said right here. Where is it? Oh my goodness! Now I remember. I never received that, so I check on the ASAP. Okay, maybe you checked on it ASAP, and then you found that the position was filled, and you said, "Fuck it, it's filled." I don't need to deal with with the individual. I could care less. I'm not going to email him, tell him perhaps what he did wrong, or or what the whole process was, or why someone else was taking the position and maybe why I wasn't taking the position. No email and well, thank you for taking the time and so on and yada, yada, yada. Nothing, dickhead, nothing from this dickhead. And I just, then I spouted off. I waited a couple of days to see if he got back with me. I gave him the benefit of the doubt, right? And then I wrote, this is the reason I'm not particularly fond of recruiters because they put a bad taste in my mouth. I get this. So I sent what I got in the form letter uh, then I responded a form email, a form email, no response from you, no in, input or feedback. I spend my, I spend my time for this. I spent my time talking to you. No acknowledgement from you to the fact that, well, thank you for spending the time, but, uh, we went in another direction. No, no, nothing from this Michael dude. Um, so I go, yeah, the, the recruiters put a bad taste in my mouth. They seem to care about you right up to the point where they make their sale and get their money. Kind of like used car sales exactly like used car salespeople. I go, you can take me off your database or list or whatever you have on your end. I have zero interest in dealing with Bell Tech Logics moving forward. Thank you. Have a nice day, Christopher Mosher. I was kind about it. In the back of my head, I was just saying, F you. <laughs> <laughs> right. This is what drives me crazy about recruiters. This is why I don't like to deal with recruiters. I get calls all day. Uh, I ignore most of the calls because they don't go anywhere. You send them your resume, you send them your information, and then you never hear from them again. I just had a recruiter the other day for a position, in, I believe, in, in Fairport, a town near me. A big corning job. Every recruiter in the world is contacting me on this, and I'm sure contacting anyone else um, with a resume on Indeed or LinkedIn who has IT experience. Sent him an email a couple of days ago. How's it going? Have you heard anything? Nothing. Nothing, not a quick, nothing, haven't heard anything yet. Da 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 da. da. Um, I'll just assume that the position has been filled because uh, there's a million people out there looking for work. But uh, what does that say to me? What does that say to me as, a, as someone that is looking for a job, a potential employee for a position? What does that say to me to recruiters out there? Recruiters contacting me. That puts all you recruiters in a bad light. Terrible light, terrible light. I don't want to deal with you because you waste my time. Not to the fact that I didn't get a position, to the fact that you don't give me feedback, you don't get back to me, and it doesn't seem like you give two shits about me. And you don't. All it tells me is you care about the bottom line, you care about your money. If you fill the position or the position's been filled, then you have either got your commission or you're not going to get a commission on that job. You go to the next one. I understand you have to make a living, but you also have to put in the human equation into your little scenario. Don't like recruiters. Can't stand them. Um, on the most part, on the most part, uh, 99, 98% of them um, can go F themselves. So I wanted to spout off again on this because it really um, it bothers me because I'm from a customer service background and I care about people and I would absolutely get back to them and tell them, hey, this is why you weren't chose for the position. And it pisses me off that people are, are this way. So thank you, gals and guys. I wanted to spout off again on this. Um, it's very frustrating. I, I want a position. I want to work. Um, I want to make a good income. Um, you know, I've. I, I want to continue life and I feel like I'm at a, a dead stop right now. Um, and you recruiters are not helping whatsoever. You're not helping whatsoever. 98% of you are worthless. The other 2%, thank you for doing a great job. Okay. Uh, this is not a slam on all of you. you you're just, not all terrible people. We're all human beings, right? We all do stupid things. It's, it's, it's the consistent thing. If it was one, two, you know, I wouldn't even be making this video. It's every single one, practically every single one I deal with. And it just gets annoying. So don't be a recruiter. Don't be a recruiter. Go do something else because you're terrible at it. <laughs> and I know there's not a lot of jobs out there. And I know recruiters are having a hard time as well. But you should have time to get back to me then.
So F you, Michael. F you, Bell Tech Luck. I'm sure you'll be out of business and some 9 million other recruiting businesses will crop up because there seems to be a gazillion of them. F you, you wasted my time. And uh, this is the, you're the reason I made this video. Uh, so that's it. All right. Did I piss and moan enough? <laughs> you know, I say a lot of this in jest. I say a lot of this in comedy, yet I'm serious. Uh, you know, it's not going to ruin my life. It's it it. it it is depressing not having a, a job. Um, I wish I could just make YouTube videos all day and sound off and that would be great, but um, that's not realistic either. All right, gals and guys, if you could please, um, what am I trying to say? Subscribe to this channel. So maybe I can monetize someday, who knows? And uh, please share this with maybe other people that might feel the same way I do, or people that are looking for positions or people that are dealing with recruiters. Maybe if enough word gets out to recruiters, recruiters will straighten up and get their act together. Who the f knows? And uh, please like this if you like it, share, hit the bell for updates. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go look for more work, I suppose, do more applications, get called by more recruiters, talk to them, and then I'll never hear from them again. 98, 99% of them, I will never hear from again. All right, gals and guys, I'm off to do something productive. <laughs> All right, talk to you later. Bye.